and podcasting was a type of media that I got into and which was quite new at the time. There was a, probably only everyone, has anyone heard of, actually, how many people listen to podcasts here? And how many people don't know what a podcast is? Get out. <laughs> uh, so a podcast is like a radio show basically but it's all done on a uh, telephone it's quite easy to be able to I'll show you later how to get one on it uh, but it's all listened to on uh, our phones the biggest thing at the moment especially in marketing I think it's so important um, but audio is being listened to one and a half times more than video is being watched sorry who but, uh, <laughs> but it's just something that's growing and growing because it's one of those medias that um, you can be doing something, you can be in the garden, digging away and also listening to content. It's a really great way of getting content in uh, and being able to do something else. So I think that's just gonna grow and grow and grow. It's still on, in, in its early days. So when I first started, I was on a podcast called Sod Show. Some of you heard Sod Show? RIP Sod Show, it's finished now. Uh, not because of me. Uh, and then I decided that I'd do my own one in my own style because I think that's the biggest thing out of all these um, different type of medias you've got to have your own voice and mine usually is quite a really strong Essex accent uh, but you've got to be individual and just do your own thing but when I first started podcasting everyone was like oh you should be a little bit more BBC do interviews a little bit more the way they do it and I was like, nah, not having any of that. Some of you, if you listen to my podcast, there's a little bit of singing involved. I did think I'd be in a band once, but it didn't work out. But I think that just doing something differently and standing out is really important. So podcasting is one of those things, one of those medias which is growing and growing and growing. If you want, I think it's really important that everyone has their own story as well. Everyone's got their own story to tell, exactly the same as me. I got into gardening when I was 26, and I, like I said, I get kids and families involved in gardening and every garden centre also has their own story and every brand has their own story as well brands I think for them to get on board with podcasts and get on board with current podcasts that are already out there is a good idea but if you've got a garden centre if you've got a garden nursery you've all got a story which no one knows about no one like for instance the other day I was on YouTube and I watched someone show me around their shed bit weird I know <laughs> but there's, there's something about that that I don't know about their story so I'm sitting watching it and exactly the same as I don't know about garden centre stories I'd like to be able to hear that and listen to that and hear a bit of behind the scenes so it's really simple to set up I'm podcasting this today uh, just on one of these little audio things so if you really want to listen to this again later then you can hit up the podcast um, but you can do it really easy just on a phone just on memos is one of the ways you can do it and just sit down in a room or around the garden centre or in the garden and just speak into the phone. It's that simple, just tell your story. And tell, you may sit there, and I thought this when I first started, I was like, well, what I'm saying is not interesting or what I'm saying has been said before. But because I'm giving my own opinion, that makes it different and that makes people want to listen. Uh, most recently, uh, any Alan Tips my fans here? Oh, I'm sorry about this. Uh, <laughs> most recently, I did a podcast totally on what I thought about Alan Titchmarsh becoming an Adidas model. You see this? Yeah. Well, let's not go into it now. But if you want to listen to it on the podcast, then you can. Um, but I gave my opinion. And then my listeners, at the moment, it's got up to 100,000 listeners on, a month on the podcast, um, want to hear what I think. And I want to, you, I, well, I want to hear what you guys think about what you do. Um, it can be uploaded just straight to Facebook. So we've talked a lot about social medias today. It can be uploaded straight to your Facebook, up to your Instagram um, TV. Are people using Instagram TV? I don't think people have talked about it today. Do you know what Instagram TV is? Yeah, cool, so you can upload straight to that. Or you can upload it um, to uh, iTunes, which is a little bit uh, more difficult. There's a lot to go into that. If you, want, if you are thinking about doing it, I know a good percentage of you are going to go away and think, ah, oh, I listen to a podcast, I don't know if I'll make one. There might be a few of you who might think, yeah, I'm going to make one. If you want to talk to me afterwards, then I'll be able to tell you how to upload it. But on iTunes, on Spotify, to get more of an audience, to get more people uh, listening to it. Um, so I think it's really good for brand awareness on my podcasts. 
we have adverts on there. But for the first, uh, I spent two and a half years, and I spent one year doing it just out of love. And then uh, I thought I need to learn a little bit of this. Uh, and then I've got sponsors on board, and it's all really good for brand awareness uh, for your podcast, uh, for a sponsor to come on board, or for your garden centre to be able to promote. But you've got to build up that relationship. And I think out of all, everything we've heard today, it's about building relationships up on social medias and on podcasts as well. Because I always hear people say, oh, I want to get to 10,000 followers. And I'm like, why? Why do you want to get, what? Why do you want to get 10,000 followers? Oh, because it'd be cool, because then we'll have more of a reach. But if you're not putting content out there, like decent content, then what's the point of having 10,000 followers? If you're not looking after the 300 followers you've already got, then why are we worrying about numbers? I think that's one thing that uh, sort of masks what's going on. I think it's, don't worry about the numbers so much. I'm sure, who did you think about followers when you first started? Never. Never, exactly. And that's all we talked about. <laughs> uh, I'm one to talk. Um, so yeah, I think that's a big thing. Uh, audio, like the reason I'm really into audio is because like I say, it's being consumed one and a half times more than anything. And also it's going to be the future. How many of us have got Alexa in our houses at the moment? A few of us, yeah. Uh, I've got one in my home and my four year old daughter uses it more than anyone in our house. Alexa! In fact, no one's got Alexa in here, have they? Alexa, <laughs> play. Michael Jackson's got really good uh, music. Um, she goes, Alexa, play Michael Jackson. And every morning we have to listen to Billy Jean or, or Craig David, I don't mind that. But those sort of audio forms, that uh, thing being in our home is going to be such a massive thing in the future for us. Uh, it also gets Alexa play Skin Jean Garner podcast quite a bit as well. Uh, but it's going to be such a big thing in our homes that when we go and want to buy something, we're going to say, Alexa, buy me a loaf of bread. And it will be with us in like minutes. Like That's going to be the future that we're really thinking about at the moment. So if we really start thinking about audio um, with our brands, then that's really important. We're ahead of the game there. So those are the four, sort of thoughts that I've got um, on there. At the same same time as I was talking about putting our podcasts onto Facebook and onto IGTV, I've also started putting my uh, podcast onto YouTube as well because I think a lot of our videos are listened to more now rather than watching because we're such people we've not got time all the time to be sitting and watching videos. We listen to them while doing something else. You find yourself doing that a lot more. So uploading them to our Facebooks, to our Instagrams, to our YouTubes, it just gets our content out there even more. I think that's really important. Because again, it's not about numbers, it's about getting our brand out there and our thoughts out there. I think that's so important. Um, And like I say, it's about sharing your story. 